<laughs> Can't go a goddamn week without dealing with these assholes, can we? Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Asmagon and this is the second take of me doing this because I'm still flabbergasted by this situation. We're going to go through this article from The Dark Place, and credit to them, they've been pretty good uh, throughout the Fem Study situation. Uh, I, I like them. Uh, they've, they've been reporting us stuff fairly accurately, which I appreciate. So ha so, so credit to The Dark Place, you know. Uh, they, do, they do deserve a little bit of a pat on the back. And they reported on this situation, and it's in direct relation to another situation, which I haven't covered, but I'm going to do a two-for-one here. That situation is... There's a YouTuber by the name of Smash JT. He's a commentary channel on YouTube. Not very big. I, you know, some people are gonna say, "Well, you're not very big either." Well, apparently, you know, me being small means I'm not allowed to say that for some reason. But yeah, he's he's not very big. I'm not either. That's not what I'm implying when I say stuff like that. I had to explain that on a live stream, so I'll explain it here as well. I know I'm small. That that doesn't mean I'm not allowed to point out what someone else is. So Smash JT is a smaller content creator. Bigger than me, I think. And he's a commentary channel. And recently he started up kicking some stuff up around Kotaku, trying to get hashtag and Kotaku trending. That whole situation was in regards to Kotaku being Kotaku, really. Like, I, I don't really need to go in more detail than that, but for those who need it, being dishonest, being terrible games journalists, let's be honest, games journalists, they're, they haven't been journalists ever. Like, not, not ever. They're, they're fake. They've only ever chased trends and hate clicks. And they're not even really good at that these days. They've overplayed their hands so much. People just associate Kotaku with inaccurate, outright lies and slander to the very base they should be catering to, which is gamers. So, yeah. I, so in full, so I'm in full support of ha Smash JT's hashtag and Kotaku. Like, fully. <laughs> totally. But... The, uh, the chief editor of Kotaku took umbrage with that and then went, on, went psycho. Like, like, they're already psycho. They're hyper-wokists. They're leftists. They're, they're crazies already. But even for their crowd, went the extra mile? Actually, no. To be fair, this is normal for their crowd at this point. So what she did is she tracked down the guy's wife and messaged her and tried to start shit with his wife now that's bad enough and don't get me wrong again that whole situation that kotaku editor needs to be fired Th that's just horrendous but i'm I i'm gonna like switch gears to now the up-to-date stuff in response to that another person by the name of paul scott canavan who is an artist who has done official artwork for warhammer 40k uh, Magic the Gathering, Blizzard apparently, and a couple others that have been cited on, on his like LinkedIn tree and stuff. The guy's done official artwork for these major hobbies. And obviously being a 40k channel, I'm going to mostly come at this as a 40k fan. And he wrote in response to this situation about this editor uh, outright doxing people and harassing people's families. Because this guy is, ad is putting up a, a petition for your business to be closed and to be stopped being supported let's be honest petition, online petitions don't really do anything they're just expressions of people's disinterest and that can do something but generally the petition itself doesn't actually lead to tangible consequences the outcry the what it represents of people's frustrations that can but the petition itself it the petition itself existing doesn't do anything necessarily it's certainly not a threat on anybody's life. It's not doxing. It's not anything like that. It's it's simply an advocacy for something. It is morally... it's In fact, it's someone's entire moral right to be able to put up a petition saying, hey, I want this business closed. Hey, I think this business is bad. It should be closed. And the people as a whole, this is very democratic, can either support the petition because they themselves agree and think this is harmful or not very interesting, or in the case of Kotaku, just outright insulting to the very base they should be catering to. Like that's that none of that is, causes any tangible harm to anybody. And people would say, "Oh, well, someone losing their job is tangible harm." It is, but if they deserve to have their job taken away, that doesn't result in sympathy for them. You get yeah, how this works, like. It's not morally wrong, but no tangible harm. No one's being threatened with a gun. 
No one's being threatened with a knife. Nothing like that. It's just an online petition. So to, to respond to that by doxing and then harassing this guy's family, in my opinion, it's the Streisand effect. You're going to get more people to sign that petition now because they know the level of subhuman trash that you are. That you're like, yeah, let, let's, let's, let's start going after people's families. That's bad enough. And again, that person should be fired, and I think they were fired, but I need to confirm that. So, But this individual, Canavan, who again is an official artist for Warhammer and an official artist in other places, said this in response to the situation. And in support of the Kotaku editor, this is absolutely the play in reference to doxing. We should be doing this with all these weird creeps. Track down their significant others and mothers and string them up. Um, Scott, or Paul, or Canavan, whatever you want to be called. Uh, cuntbag. I'll call you cuntbag. Uh, cuntbag. Did you, did you cut the holes in the hood, in the white hood you're wearing big enough to see the situation for what it is? You might, you might want to get the scissors and, and kind of increase the peripheral, because, um, um, Yeah. Have you, do you own a mirror? Do you, did you re double check what you wrote? Like. <laughs> oh my god. The, the level of mask off that the woke have been lately is just comedic. And the sad thing is, is they don't even realize how they're coming off. Like, like the blatancy. The blatancy of just the hypocrisy. They, they're showing themselves to be evil by their own definitions. They, 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 <laughs> my God, I'm impressed. I, I'm impressed, Paul Scott Canavan. You, you have, you have shown yourself to impressively rep, in my opinion, you are accurately representing the woke. You are ap ap accurately as all hell representing the base that you're a part of. Congratulations. You are in support of tr doxing people, tracking them down in real life, and lynching them. You and your buddies uh, got some practice with this with black people first? Uh, you know, like, you got the white hoods, you know, you got the horses, got some rope. You know, uh, did you did you capture a couple black people and force them to pick cotton first? Like, how much training are you really putting in here? Because... With this statement, I, I, the, what I, like, this is the accent I read it in. This is absolutely the play. We should be doing this with all these weird creeps. Track down their significant others and mothers and string them up. That was dirty. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, let's uh, keep reading with the article, but holy fuck. His comments came in response to a post from Kotaku senior editor Alyssa McCuntface, which detailed that she had tracked down the wife of YouTube, YouTuber Smash JT and sent her a message on Facebook asking what she thinks about the mother of her children her aunt and a woman online and laughing when she shares that thumb when their support has been threatening to kill them for weeks. Except, you know, that never happened. A petition to have Kotaku taken off of the internet is... Just a moral good. It's like it's the same thing as hiring pest control. Uh, it's the same as asking someone to clean up the mold in a basement. You know, it's it, it, it's basic purging of a of a cancerous tumor. You know, it, it, it's a, a objective good, I would argue. And um, no one's lives are being threatened. Uh, fun fact: like if you you know if you're such a good journalist, you should be able to find work elsewhere. Right? Kotaku goes under. You should be able to find work elsewhere. And if you're as shitty a journalist as most of Kotaku tends to be run by, you don't deserve a job in journalism. Perhaps apply, f you know, anywhere else. Perhaps look at the trades. God knows I wouldn't hire you to do my electrical wiring or do anything for me, but someone might. Someone might hire you to do some landscaping. Or, you know, you can lean back on mommy and daddy and all the trust fund money. Leave it at that. 
Uh, Mercanti's umbrage with Smash JT appears to be that he started a petition to demand the shutdown of Kotaku and is attempting to get hashtag end Kotaku trending. Which again, I'm in full support of hashtag end Kotaku. Uh, if you, y'all are on Twitter, y'all on any platform, you know, start start that hashtag and definitely check out that petition. Because um, keep in mind that petition is advocating for people who stay who say stuff like this to be put out of business. Just saying. So this shows a screenshot of Alyssa McCarthy continuing to be a liar and disingenuous. I don't know. I wouldn't love my husband was doing this. Let's be honest, woman. No man has touched you. No man would ever want to touch you. If man were stuck in the forest and his option was a bear or you, he'd go with the bear. 100%. I know I'd leave you for the bear. <laughs> uh, I'd leave you for the bear. Let's just see, Let's just see like, uh, if you're able to negotiate with him. As for Canavan, he doubled down on tracking down loved ones and stringing them up, lynching. In a response to one user who asked him if he would be okay if people tracked down his loved ones, Canavan said, I mean, if I turn into a total piece of shit and start harassing women online, then yeah, go nuts. So like you already are. Because you're in support of harassing Smash JT's wife and lynching her. Like in your, in your comment, you say, track down the significant others and mothers... And string them, lynching mothers. So, when you say, if I turn into a total piece of shit, which you already are, and start harassing women, which you already are, so, um, yeah, let's, uh, you heard him, guys. Now, again, don't actually do that. I'm being satirical. Don't be what this piece of trash is. This is filth. This is utter filth. Keep in mind, like, let me be, let me be entirely fucking honest. Paul Scott Canavan is utter and complete trash. The article goes on, uh, not only would he double down, but he claimed his opinion that loved ones be, be tracked down and strung up was not controversial. Okay. Uh, YouTuber that Umbrella Guy asked, fascinating, is that a company stance? Stringing up moms and significant others? Can never replied, I think you may have misunderstood. No, no, no. What's to be mis- I, I fucking hate trash. Trash subhuman pieces of filth like this. What's to be misunderstood by this comment? This is absolutely the play. You are reinforcing this, posi this position. This is absolutely the play. Y you're confidently stating that this is 100% the thing. We should be doing this with all these weird creeps. People who you don't agree with. Track down their significant others, their wives, their husbands, their boyfriends, their girlfriends, and their mothers... And string them up to lynch them. A famous man once had a speech that began with, I have a dream. And that man, 100%, wanted this kind of notion to die. And the very group that claimed to be on that side of history, that claimed to be fighting discrimination of race, uh, discrimination of sex, discrimination of all sorts, that are fighting on behalf of minorities. And what are y'all saying? <laughs> Let's lynch those people. <laughs> Again, you might want to cut the the holes in the white hood you're you're donning there, buddy, a little bit bigger. Your peripheral seems fucked. Fascinating is that a okay? Canavan replied, "I think you may have misunderstood." No, nope, no one misunderstood. You you literally wrote it in black and white, douchebag. The con the conversation was about holding people accountable for their attacks on the internet. So wait, wait, so people attack on the internet. You know what that translates to? Someone said something I didn't like. That's not an attack. What you're advocating for is an attack. It's called it's called lynching. We have a word for it. It's very taboo in certain groups. And you're totally whoa, let's do it. So Go fuck yourself. Plainly. I don't think it's a super controversial take. You don't think lynching is a controversial take? Guy has never owned a mirror in his life. Oh, good God. Former World of Warcraft Mark Kern would then share Canavan's post writing, Creative Director Paul Scott Canavan for Grimoire, an indie dev making Pale Tides, avoiding that. And by the way, everyone should boycott Grimoire if you had any interest with them at all. I don't even know them. I'll tell you this, they are forever written off my... The fact they ever hired this guy. Ever. And he's creative director? Fuck that. 
I'm having nothing to do with that grimoire ever. I don't care if they like completely rearrange their staff and fire this guy. Does not matter. They're tainted from the ground up. These people are filth that are attracted to this filth. Yeah, fuck that. If you have any interest in grimoire, you can go fuck yourself. For supporting subhuman trash like Paul Scott Canavan. An indie dev making pale tides. Pale tides. Defends Kotaku's attack on family members of critics. Track down the significant others and mothers and string them up. Then a brother guy calls him out and he doubles down, saying that it's just about holding people accountable. Holding people accountable by tracking down their family members and lynching them. So I guess whenever you look at those old documentaries and stuff of those old posses that would track down black people way back when and escape slaves and string them up, you must think to yourself as you're watching it, Paul Scott Canavan, well, there's an idea. These guys ha have got the right idea. Must have been jerking himself off while he was watching that. Like, oh, yeah, I really want one of those white hoods. Yes. I guess anything goes if you have the right politics, he, he concluded. Great of Dector, Abig uh, so yeah, so this is a post from Grums. H how shout out to Grums, by the way. Grums has been awesome. Holy fuck. Oh, I'm, I'm still reeling. This is this, this is pissing me off. Kenevan then accused Kern of sending a hate mob after him and claimed he worded his post, quote-unquote, poorly. You didn't ru- No, no, you, no, 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 no. You, f go fuck yourself, you piece of filth. You absolute waste of oxygen. You are a walking disgrace to the idea of humanity. Shut the fuck up, you piece of trash. Worded poorly. Let me re- once again, fucking read your own goddamn words. This is absolutely the play. We should be doing this with all these weird creeps. Track down their significant others and mothers and string them up. What the fuck do you mean worded poorly? How would you word that properly? Go and holy fuck yourself. I don't care what implement you use to do it. Preferably one with quite a few striations and spikes. Layered with lemon juice and lime juice and salt. Give yourself such a deep enema, you feel it up your fucking nose. Poorly my ass. He wrote on X, sending a hate mob after me. No, 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 no. You don't get to play victim. You don't get to play victim. When you decided to pay tribute to the KK fucking K. Repeating their fucking MO. No, 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 no. You don't get to play that fucking card. You piece of shit. Oh, they're just sending a hate mob. No, 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 no. You earned that hate mob. You earned that. Let's not play, let's not play a fucking game here. You piece of shit. He's a little unkind considering you motherfucker. Sending a hate mob after me seems a little unkind. A little unfucking kind. A little fucking unkind. It's coming from the motherfucker who wanted to lynch mothers and lynch wives. You absolute piece of filth. Go fuck yourself. I hope you cry yourself to sleep every goddamn night. People who attack others on the internet should be held accountable. I admit I phrased it poorly. Go fuck yourself, you lying sack of shit. You absolute piece of fucking filth. Go fuck yourself. Jump off a cliff. Dump, d dive yourself into the Pacific Ocean with a fucking cinder block tied to your ankles. Do anything that would actually benefit humanity and, and erase yourself. Please and thank you. In Minecraft. I meant I phrased it poorly, but also it wasn't a statement. Yes, it fucking was. It was a reply to a, to a tweet. Have you owned a fucking mirror in your life? Anything you say out loud constitutes a statement, jackass. X user Katum Ka Ka responded to this writing. You want someone held accountable, say, accountable, say that. You said go after their loved ones, ha after their loved ones, and lynch them specifically. String them up. Have some of your own medicine along with that so-called accountability you people, you want people to have. Kenna replied again. I was just replying to a tweet. I understand how it was misread.
Okay. I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna do this again. And audience, feel free to tell me how the fuck one misreads this. This is absolutely the play. We should be doing this with all these weird creeps. Track down their significant others and mothers and string them up. How does one misread this? Is there another way to read this? No. Go and fuck yourself. I can only say that so many times, but I'm going to say it as much as it needs to be said. I don't care if this gets demonetized. Holy shit. Kern reacted to Canavan's comments and Mercanti's actions, writing on X, Kotaku and, and crazy woke game devs attack, attack you and lie, saying you are stalking them and harassing them. Meanwhile, they want to find your families and string them up. Thank you, Grums. You're correct. Plain and simply correct. He added in a subsequent post, You know who else wanted to find your families and string them up for you know just accountability? These people feel they are on the right side of history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they think they are, and that's the disturbing part. And he plays the, the you know, are we the baddies? <laughs> the thing is, no woke person would ever have that level of self-accountability and self-introspection to realize they're the baddies. Like, people are straight up telling him and showing him his own goddamn post in black and white, and this motherfucker is literally saying, it was a reply to a tweet, I, I understand how it was misread, I was just, I was talking accountability here. Yeah, the Nazis thought the Jews needed to take accountability by lighting them on fire, collecting them in camps, starving them to death, and forcing them to work in factories for them. Next, he posted, Purging Gamers BBC, upon, BBC, Open bounties, just just a joke, bro. Normalized. Oh, yeah, so Grums is just kind of laying out all the horror. Yeah, yeah, that also is something I didn't cover. I should have. But I, I'm with my, with my new job and everything, I haven't had the time. I'm lucky I have time for this. And now family hunting for hangings. It's the sport of game journalists and woke game devs everywhere. And it, not just them, specifically. All woke. This is, like, this is woke in, in summary. They like to think of themselves as enlightened, hence the name woke. In reality, what is it? They want to do everything that every evil group in history has done, and somehow they convince themselves that they're fighting those groups that no longer exist, to be fair. They, they're somehow fighting against those ideals and those evils when they're propagating them. They're twice as evil as those groups were, in a lot of cases, in my opinion. Kern also noted that Canavan directly messaged, DM'd him, and accused him of setting my angry fans on him because he worded a tweet poorly. Kern then shared the tweet again and wrote, I told him I was reporting him instead. Good. Everyone should report this jackass. And uh, the Dark Place goes on to say, Canavan's comments are reprehensible, vile, and repugnant. I agree. Like, yeah, dead on. Like, is there any way other to put it? No. <laughs> Of note, they also fall perfectly in line with how Vox Day detailed how social justice warriors or woke ideologues behave in, SJ in SJWs always lie, taking down the thought police. Day explains, instead of coming clean in one way or another, the SJW will instead double down and attempt to shore up his lies by concocting an even larger framework of deceit and misdirection to support them. He will throw the full weight of his status and credibility into the effort call on the support of his entire social network and try to turn the risk of potential exposure into a popularity contest between him and the individual threatening to expose him. The goal is to destroy the whistleblower's credibility so that even if the truth comes out, no one will believe it. Yeah. And what else do you say that was that correct? And this is, if anyone's been paying attention at all to the culture war or to the bullshit that's been happening online over the last, oh, I don't know, 12, 14 years... <laughs> This is nothing new. Like, reading that, that's just an everyday experience for most of us. It's dealing with the woke. It's like, yep, that's dead on. They pull, they try and pull that card all the time. And the sad thing is, it has worked in the past. It has worked. They Several of them have dodged account, being held accountable, being banned from certain platforms, etc. by pulling this card. It's time for us to stop making, letting it work. 
Kenevan, uh, Kenevan attempted to do this. He did not come clean, but accused Kern of sending a hate mob against him while he was advocating for the targeted harassment, at the very least. No, 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 no. That's where I'm going to do... The Dark Place is, is being too nice here. No, 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 no. What, Ken what Kenevan was doing was advocating for the kidnap, torture, and murder of people's spouses and their mothers. Of those who, who disagree with him. He's right now working on uh, growing uh, growing a little bit of a toothbrush right here. We all know his, who his idols are. So the rest of the article keeps going. I'm going to link the article in the description. And I honestly, you guys couldn't tell. This does stick in, uh, stick in my craw a little bit, but it should. If, if you read this, what this piece of filth said. Now, I'm not saying don't, like, a lot of you are going to say shit, like, in the comments of, oh, well, this doesn't surprise me. Oh, color me shot. It's not about being surprised or not. Really. You should be incensed by this, regardless of whether you're surprised by it or not. If this does not immediately make you feel disgusted with this individual, something is wrong with you. S stick yourself into an asylum, get a psych ward, get some me anti-psych meds, and fuck off. This individual is a piece of filth. Now, of course, after all this, what did this individual do? Private it is his fucking account. Shock and awe. Everyone should report this individual. Everyone who watches this video, if you have a Twitter account, report this individual. Again, I'll link this, get these images, pull them off, use them in your report, get this person banned, rightfully so, off this fucking platform. They deserve far worse. But that's the least we can have happen. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Uh, fuck the woke. Gatekeep, and gatekeep always to keep these pieces of trash out of our spaces out of hobbies, and if we can fucking achieve it, get them the fuck off the internet. And hopefully into a goddamn jail cell. That's it for me, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a dislike if, if you didn't. I don't really give a, give an absolute shit whatsoever. Subscribe if you want more content like this, but also preferably if you want 40k slash tabletop hobby stuff. I guess at this point anything geekdom, really. Yeah. Fuck the woke, and fuck them thoroughly. Don't actually do that, you'll get a lot of STDs.